Dude, just got one goal, man, to get that, that Crabber Patty formula. And, you know, right now, I just feel like we just, and he don't stop. No matter what, every episode, he own it. So I'm just like, man, we got we to gotta get that plankton mentality every game. We got to we gotta get that formula every game. So does that make a little Rodgers, Mr. Krabs this week? Miss, yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Will. From 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 him all the way to Miro to whoever after that, playing the mentality. Rest I of the have no idea what y'all talking about. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, SpongeBob. That's, that's, SpongeBob, that you watch SpongeBob? Uh, that's, that's... I thought of that myself too. Really? Yeah. What? Where'd you get the picture? Um, TikTok. <laughs> so, thank you for your candor. So, uh, thank you. I was not expecting that question. I got you. Keep doing the test. Neither was I. <laughs> Uh, Jalen, what's what's kind of like the difference in the, the locker room maybe right now? You guys compare this kind of skid you're on to last year when you guys were on that same skid. What's the difference in the attitude, the culture of the locker room? And, um, you know, from what I've heard, it's, it's better. Uh, mm -hmm. And where did that where does it come from? Uh, a lot of it came from Coach Freeze yesterday. I think the talk he had with us, it was a uh, – we were kind of on it before he even talked to us, like in our little group chats and stuff. But – um, just basically saying flat out, like, just don't disengage and just, like, basically just don't quit on us. Like, just just keep going, having that plankton mentality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just keep going, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just don't quit. So I think everybody just, you know, things aren't going our way, but, you know, we just, we're going to keep going. I know you guys weren't pleased with the LSU performance. What do you think were some of the biggest factors? You all turning the page. Don't mm -hmm. miss and obviously executing at a higher level in that game. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what was going on in the LSU game. I, I really couldn't tell you, but um, you know, we turned it around because uh, that's just really all we know. Put it behind you, throw it in the trash. It just wasn't our night, and uh, you know, we got it. A lot of things fixed um, for the our last game, and uh, I mean, I think. I think we played lights out as much as the best we could. You know, we had like eight three and outs or something like that, or something of that nature. And that's just that's in our blood. That's what we we do. That's what we 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 built on. Just um, playing great defense, great team defense. Um, you know, I, I can't really, I don't really have an answer for that last year game, but we got better from that. What has made of the defense to have Keontae and, and Austin? Back out there with you guys. Oh, yeah. Um, Keontae, man, I mean, even when I was hurt, Keontae was, I had to go do uh, in the training room and do things with him when my leg was hurt. So we were both kind of doing the same exercises. And, you know, I was kind of down and he just kept me up, like his hopes of coming back and returning to play real fast. And he came back fast. But, uh, you know, I'm not surprised that he did what he did because I mean, he was just on it every day, and it's real. Like I was, I was hurt when 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 I heard he was out, was having surgery and all that, because you never know how long that stuff could take. But um, I'm just real proud of him, for sure. Um, and he helped me get back on the field earlier than than I probably would have if it wasn't for him. I probably wouldn't have been out there for that uh, LSU game. But um, real proud of Key. Who else? Keys. Oh, key. Oh, keys. Yeah, keys was out there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was at. We was. We was working out with him too in the weight room during practice. Um. Back uh, when I was hurt too, and it's. You know, you could tell. You you watched that film, man. He was greedy. He couldn't wait. And plus, that was his old team. Um. He was. He was the guy. Like he was keeping us straight on the sideline, keeping everybody head straight on the sideline, encouraging on the sideline and everything. Like. Um, and we need that a lot on the sidelines, so it was good to have him back too. How did Keontae help you when, when you guys were rehabbing together? Um, it's just the little things he would say. Like, I'd be out there like, man, my like my leg hurting, bro. Like, I don't know if I can. He like one percent. He just kept saying one percent, just one percent, which means like just one percent better every day. Just get one percent better. He just kept saying small things like that, and um. And he had been out for longer than I was. So I'm just like, man, he's so determined. Like, and, and I've been playing more than him. I know he want to be out there just as bad as me. So I'm like, man, let me just get my mind right. 
And I mean, who knows? Maybe I would have still had a bad mindset if he wasn't there with me. So, you know, without him, that's why I give him a lot of credit for my return. But his return is definitely very, very good for, for our defense right now. Where, where are you at? Is you feel 100% or close yeah, to 100% yeah, yeah. now? Yeah, close. I mean, you'll never, mm-hmm. after game one, you'll never be 100%. But uh, I'm, I'm real close. I'm, I'm the healthiest I've been since the season started right now. Jason, how's the secondary handled uh, Coach McGriff going up the field and you guys back there with you guys? Just how has that affected you guys? Um, I mean, we obviously want to have calm. You know, he's he's the heart and soul. But uh, it's, it, it hasn't really changed a lot because, I mean, last year we still kind of got the same guys from last year and Coach Etheridge had us the back end the whole end of the season last year. So, I mean, we kind of used to it. So it's not – it's not too much of a change, but I mean, crime is still around. But uh, I know he wants to be coaching and all that. But you know, he's doing what's best for him, I guess. So you know, but we love him, we miss him. But nothing's really, really changed that much. You talk about that singular one game at a time mentality. With y'all having, you just played three straight top fifteen teams. The back half of the schedule is not as strong as what you guys have faced. So, how important is it to to keep that mindset? And I guess flush maybe what's already happened because at least on paper what you, what you guys are going to face is not as strong as what you've already right yeah, yeah yeah we uh you yeah you see that you see that but uh at the end of the day it's SEC I mean it's SEC teams uh anybody can get beat um anybody can win but I mean we 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 really want to play in a bowl game and that's on the line right now if we don't get our mess together so um that's really it we got to win out how important is it just to get that first one though? Uh, how would what would they win Saturday mean just from a confidence standpoint, just to kind of get some of that positive momentum? Going? I think that's exactly what we need. We need some momentum, and it starts here in Jordan. Here, um, it's better to have it here than on the trying to start this on the road. So, um, you know, Mississippi State—they're a good team. They got a uh, will. I don't know if he'll play, but. Um, they're still a good team. They got a good defense. Some 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 dudes on their defense side. So our offense got to be on point. But uh, definitely a confidence booster because I don't I don't really know everybody's headspace. It's too hard for me to determine everybody's headspace. But uh, as a for a defensive standpoint, I know that you know we trying to go out there. We trying to get a shutout this week. That's 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 really all I know. Eugene talked about that too about going to a bowl game. Why why is that important to you? For you all to be back in the postseason. I mean, I don't even know if I've won a bowl game since I've been here, but I mean, I just want to, I just like playing football. I just want to play as many games as possible. So, um, me personally, I just want to go to a bowl game because I just like to play. But um, it's just, it's just important because, you know, if you don't go to a bowl game, you have to sit and watch everybody else play. You know, you feel like the season wasn't, wasn't a success or something like that. But, um, that's that's really it. We just want to uh, get get a bowl game so we can feel, you know, some kind of success for the season. Because right now, I feel like a lot of people ain't feeling that right now. So we get this first win, and then you know, keep it rolling, get a bowl game. I feel like it won't be such a failure for everybody. So you you all kind of felt that way last year. It's tough to tough to sit there when because that was the first time I think in your career that. Mm-hmm. Y'all hadn't gone to a bowl game. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, I was, I was not happy. I was not happy that I wasn't playing the bowl game.